Hey there, everybody. You're probably noticing right now that my dock lights are Apple logos. Ooh, that's cool. I'd like those. Well, I'll post a link in the sidebar um, to download the Apple logos for the lights, and um, whenever you open an application, that it pops up. When you put that application, put it this way, it fades away. Just wait for it. it fades away. Cool. So it's just like that. So first thing you got to do, we're going to change this the harder way because I don't really like easy ways. I like to do it through Finder because then it shows you what you're actually doing to your computer rather than downloading a third-party software that's just going to... What's this really doing? So we're going to manually do it instead of having to download something. Okay, so open up Finder and remember we're changing our dock lights. Okay, go to Macintosh hard drive or whatever your hard drive is called. We're going to view it like this. Okay, you're going to go down to system, library, so Macintosh hard drive system, library, and then core services. Now hit D. It's going to take you to the D's. Find dock. Right click it. Click show package contents. Then go to contents, resources, and tap I as in igloo. And it takes you down to indicator large. You'll notice, hey, that's an Apple logo. I'll put it back in this view. Hey, look, it's an Apple logo. And this is another Apple logo. Indicator large, medium, and small are the ones that are used. So, we need to go and find those. Now, if you would like to create your own, you can. Just do it in Photoshop, or Adobe Photoshop CS4. Do it, whatever. So, um, I've got these wonderful little circle lights that are really quite nice. So, we're going to change that to, we're going to change those to that. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to replace those indicators. Now, we actually can't do this really easily. Wait, well, that's a lie. I'm sorry, we can't. Delete the two inside the core services, inside the dock package. You're going to delete the ones you're replacing. Swipe your finger if you're cool like me uh, to type your password. And hey, it deletes them. Wonderful. Now, you're going to take the downloaded ones and you're going to put those in there now. Authenticate and swipe your finger if you're cool like me. Ta-da! Done. Hey! It didn't change. That's because we have to restart the dock. To restart the dock, hit Command Spacebar, it pops up a spotlight, and type Terminal. Terminal. Open Terminal. This is Terminal. Yours won't look like mine, it'll look slightly different. Type Kill All, no space, space D, capital D, O C K. Kill All Dock. Enter. The dock's going to vanish and come back, and you'll have the new indicator lights, as you see down there. Now I'm going to change those back to the apple, just because I like the apple better. Apples. Copy these, but I would like to still keep these. So I'm going to copy them out here. Great. Now we're going to delete the two. Yep, swipe. Good. Deleted, and we're going to put these two back in there. Swipe. Good, and they're back. Perfect. Now we're going to reboot the dock again. You see they're down there. Space for a terminal. I'll keep my cursor on the dock so you can see this. Kill all... And I'll just go history. Up arrow. Kill all dock. And it's going to come back with the Apple logos. It is as simple as that, and that is how you change the dock icon lights. So I'll post two links in the sidebar. One will be called the indicator. You're smart enough to do this. Good job. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.